Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Papa Varian and this is the world that we have created. A very strange one, a very horrible one quite frankly. We are in Zabulistan and we are of course still King Ragnar the Victorious. And victorious we were, we fought back the Amazons once and now we have to do it again. Now I hope that we can do this. After this I think we are going to go ahead and found a new kingdom. I would like to kind of split off the north or alternatively depending on how far we can go when it comes to you know actually reforming the religion. I would like to create Khorasan and Sistan so that those kingdoms can split and then I'm gonna leave a you know Zunist very strong Norse kingdom down here with the temporal title under the control of that kingdom down here of the Sistan kingdom whereas we will go further north via Coruscant but all of that is something for the future right now we need to repel the invasion that we face yet again and I also noticed after it was pointed out in the comments Khalif Sadadin what happened here <laughs> what the hell happened here Khalif Al Muwafak I didn't see that I did not realize this at all and it makes me wonder every time because you know I always want to like do some interesting, some maybe a bit of a wacky uh, uh, sort of situation stuff, but I never meet any of these bears. I just never meet any of them. Well, either way, we have to win because if we don't, then that is the downfall of our civilization. Because then it will be very unlikely that I can actually reform Zunism within this life, but I think we have to if we really want to be successful. So, let's just prepare ourselves here. This over here, Mafasa, which this Holy Wars for, is a desert. If I defeat the Abbasids, then we would be in a situation where I could potentially go on and uh, gain, you know, the moral authority that we need. Let's hope everything works out. Now here we will have the battle that we all have been waiting for. I was almost done with sieging down Kama, but of course taking down the plight, the enemies that are the Abbasids is the most important thing. And they are coming for us, so I will immediately go ahead in there and try to make this happen. Let's just see what we can actually pull here. I have the organizer on this army, which is of course myself, and I can only hope that this one will go quite well. And of course, I mean, you know, I may be busy, but not too busy. So let's just take a look at what can happen here. Thank you for joining the war. That won't really change anything, but that's cool. Oh, we're getting wiped really badly here, but I think we're going to pull out ahead. Indeed we are. I could fight this guy. Um, sure, you know what? I will fight you, Emir Mushahid in the wise, and I think I would like you in prison because that is a lot of money that I can make quite quickly here, as well as of course just selling everybody else. I think we will win both of these wars, and after that we really only need to uh, ask the question, how do I get the moral authority to make this happen? If we get the Zunist realm under control in this very run, or rather, you know, oh look at that, beautiful. In this very particular situation, then we will be in an amazing spot. And yeah, this was this was just an amazing fight right here. I captured yet another person, Emir Saim the Tormentor. Why don't you pay me some money, my friend? 145 golds. I a uh, gold. I can forever finance this war. All right, and with this, the war against Persia is over, which of course does give us uh, some moral authority as well. But you can see the moral authority is kind of ticking away from us because I was looting temples, of course, and those timers are running out, meaning I need to speed up considerably if I actually want to make some things happen here. Um, it's a bit of a pain, honestly, and, and this is not, you know, me saying, oh, I hate this. This is more me saying, damn, we really have to speed up what we're doing or otherwise I will face a situation where I will literally never and I actually have to give out. This title is someone that already holds some titles, but otherwise we'll be in a situation where I will literally never be in a position of, you know, reforming the faith. So let's speed it up a bit, let's try to make this happen. And with this, the war is of course over. I just sieged down a couple of things and now we are in a position where I can piece you out. The Diabasids have yet again lost, we gained plus three moral authority, that is of course absolutely excellent. They gained some dynastic decadence, man, you really love to see it. Now let's get rid of all of these mercenaries, because the way mercenaries work, I cannot make them, you know, into looters, so they are completely worthless to us. But I do want to stress that I'm very interested in looting, because that looting might secure me my position in being able to reform the faith. That would be be uh, beautiful, but before we do anything else, let me just make something clear here. So we have a decent chunk of money. I need every vassal, I think uh, every count or below vassal actually. Is it literally every vassal? Man, that's a lot of money that I would have to extend here. I'm gonna make each and every one of you like me. Oh, you still hate me, huh? <laughs> Who the hell are you, Azafar? I don't know this kid. You know what? Let's duel. Sure. 
He has refused my challenge. Oh my god. Okay, I can't change the law. I just, all I wanted to do, okay, was change the law to Cognatic Agnatic. Um, so that we put, could possibly, you know, have a, a different law here once we become a kingdom. But, that apparently doesn't work out anymore. So what we're going to do instead is I'm going to found a new kingdom. Let's do it. I think this is the right time. I think this is the right moment. Because, especially, of course, you know, if we go on to be in a position where we can become... A uh, reformed Zunus faith, we should be in a position of an absolute king. And kings we are. Look at that. I like the color. The color is actually nice. It, it is quite uh, soothing, although this map mode honestly only has soothing colors, so it's not exactly a surprise. Now, with that being said, um, oh, let's go. Right. Um, wait, but that's not right. Oh. I think the way... No, I don't know why I can change the law. I think this is a bug. You know what? What? Alright, um, technically speaking, there are people in this kingdom that have a negative opinion of me, but, you know, I'll take it. Hell yeah. Agnetic Cognetic, here we go. And then I will of course vote for Blessed Weather Lizzie Eric. There you go, beautiful. That's exactly what I want to see. Now, with that being said, um, can I raise more troops? Yes, I can, and I think I shall, because I will immediately go and try to siege them down over here. We need to plunder, we need to do so many things, or otherwise we will never be able to reform. So, let's do exactly that. Let's plunder, let's do so many things. I could also create the Kingdom of Kabulistan, apparently. That's a purely titular title, interesting. I don't actually know the history behind that, don't worry about it. Are you actually pulling my leg? Who the hell is this guy? How is there already a new Caliph? Installed by Faction Amman. You gotta be absolutely... This is getting... This is really getting ridiculous, like seriously, this is uh, on another level and I don't think that I can afford anyone here. Let's go with the Phoenix Company and I mean see what we can do at the end of the day, that is really all that I... Jesus Christ, this is just, this is unheard of. <laughs> I've never been attacked in this quick of a succession, that is just, I mean, come on man. Every time I defeat one of their Caliphs, they either die or get pushed out by a... Uh, you know, their, their vassals. It's just, it's something else, genuinely. And now I'm also stressed. Honestly, with three wars like this in a row, I am not surprised that we are stressed out. This is insanity. And I have no idea whether we can even win this. This is going to be a very, very, very close one. You know, the other ones already were close, but this is just another level. How can they do this to me? <laughs> oh, no! Not like, no! Not like this! Well, um, we're fighting the desert, kids. Um... Don't do what I did here. It's gonna be a rough one. Uh, clear loss, probably. I don't know. Oh, look at that. I walked into them and, you know, I did it pretty blindly. So this was my bad. The, the losses there, at least it was just a desert fight. It wasn't anything serious. But the losses there were quite unnecessary. At the very least, they're down to 5.86k. So we are superior in numbers. Uh, whether we can actually make that work is something different. But good fight. Didn't even think that we would win that initial one. You can already see that we're going to win this just by the fact that their army isn't actually moving in to destroy us. They are very much not confident in a potential victory. So let's make this happen, eh? Oh, good tactics. Oh, and there you go. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a why we captured him. Are you kidding me? Okay, no. What we're going to do here is I'm going to sell this guy because I'm oh, he doesn't even have the money. How much money are you making? I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to sell him. I'm not going to piece him out. And then I'm going to piece him out after, just by virtue of war score. I think that is what we want to do here, right? How much money do I get from, from doing this one? 1,000. You know what? Let's just let's just get on with it. Let's just get the moral authority, uh, authority up, okay? That's really what I need here, I think. Um, I'm not going to betroth that. All right, another victory. I mean, hey, they just handed it to me, realistically speaking. That's nice. I appreciate that. <laughs> Oh no, and I have cancer. I'm 47, I have cancer. Please don't do this to me. We are so, so damn close. And I don't think Eric has the... No, he's not even close to having the piety to do this. Do not, I repeat, do not kill me. I actually feel better. Thank you. I can't... I can, it can't be allowed that we pass away, okay? Not under these circumstances. Not this close to salvation. All right, and look at this. We have a rebellion, and this is actually perfect, because if I win this rebellion, that is plus one moral authority. So either way, no matter how the modifiers go, we should have, if I win this, which I will, we should have a good time going forward. And I'm incredibly happy to see that. Let's make this happen. Do not die. I, I'm telling you straight up, I'm going to send you into battle here, Ragnar, because I trust you, but do not die. 
Come on. Let's go! Easiest victory and easiest religious reformation in my entire life. We're gonna go with dogmatic, of course we are. We're gonna go uh, with ancestor veneration. Where the hell is it? It is right here. And then we're gonna go with temporal. And of course, dawnbreakers. So. Look at that. Dawnbreakers, if you didn't know this, we must acknowledge the undeniable authority of the sun and its favored bloodlines in order to ensure the prosperity of our people. And um, we're also gonna, you know, bless the old people because I don't think he wants to bless his parents, for example. He hates his father, remember this. But I think he wants to be blessed himself when he dies. And of course we are dogmatic and temporal because he is the leader. There is no religious caste. There's nothing like that going on. The reformation will happen. But I will also tell you, by the way, I don't think that he's like necessarily giving up on Odin. I think this is more, and his family as an entire thing, acknowledging that there are realms outside of Ro uh, Odin, you know, it's not an all-encompassing thing, and they still have a certain amount of allegiance, but are right now mostly looking into the sun going blind. Let's do it. And let me just make sure that this is gone. The Church of Zoon Reformation. The ancient Church of Zoon religion is proving unable to withstand the onslaught of the cross and the moon. Rather than abandoning the old ways, Dastor Ragnar and the most powerful priests have decided to reform the Church of Zoon faith in order to ensure the preservation of their ancient customs. Firmly under the leadership of a holy Dastor, the Church of Zoon faith has developed an official holy text describing all the proper ways to worship Ragnar and counteract the arguments of infidel preachers and missionaries. This event might put in serious jeopardy the advance of the Muslim invaders in the East. Who the hell are you? Oh, my wife. You're not in the even the right religion. But there you go, we don't really care for it, do we? Now, our succession is still looking at an attic, cognatic, gable kind. But if I understand this correctly, only Zoon people count now, because um, we are, of course, holding the temporal leader here, the Church of Zoon, right? So what we need to do, at the very least, uh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be rough, but I'm gonna try my best here. Can I give you more titles? I'll make you the champion, buddy. And um, why don't you convert to my religion? Come on. Thank you. Beautiful. Because now I can actually vote for him. I thought. Oh, wait, I'm still voting for him. Ah, I just- there you go. Oh, dude. He almost gave me a heart attack. I swear to God. Now, what I would love to do, what I would absolutely love to do, and now I'm actually- I'm- I'm not quite certain on this. Um, let's take a look at this right here. Dusto Rangna, of course. Eric and- God names, Zun, the Sun, the Giver of Justice, Svan Hildre, which is her. She doesn't even believe in our faith, dude. That's okay, though. Don't worry about it. It's a synergy, okay? It is a synergy. Then Eric and Frederick. Look at you, Eric. Where's Frederick? Where the hell is Frederick? Who the hell is Frederick to begin with? I don't know, man. Wasn't he like a little brother or something? Oh, there you go, yeah. Frederick of the Socotran Band. Good for you! You know, This is actually a synergy faith. I really like that because, you know, obviously, none of these people are followers of the Church of Zoon, and yet they're here. Pretty cool. Alright, what we are going to do, what my plan is, essentially. I would like to, for example, either create Sistan or Coruscant. Likely, very likely Coruscant. Yeah, I think what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna do some, some holy warring. Oh yeah. Okay. So my plans uh, are in this life, if we can, that I want to expand up here, and then before my death, mind you, before my death, I want to split this kingdom between Coruscant and everything to the south. Um, the other brother, whoever that is, uh, who would that be in this case? Prince Raphael. Raphael will get... where the hell even is he? Oh, nope. I thought it was the grandson or something, but apparently not. Raphael, there you go. Raphael will be getting the south, including Zabudistan, and I think he will become the temporal leader, because long term we're gonna go away, of course, from the Church of Zoon, but look at that, we are the high guard. Oh, we have left a mark on this world, and you know what? Before we continue, let's just take a look at the world. What is going on? Honestly, these borders are completely fine. Europe is doing okay, except the Umayyads are blobbing north of uh, the Pyrenees. That is, of course, a bit unfortunate, but I mean, it is what it is. The Republic is gone. Fair enough. Uh, we have Namsborg still here, but they are Norse. I can only hope that Norman stays, because I need to come back at some point and uh, convert to it. Oh, we have more Norman over here. This is very nice. Yeah, this is very blessed. Beyond that, what can I see? We still have all of this going on, which is just amazing to me. The fact that this is still... There's even some of our family... Ah, uh, what are you doing? All right, you know what? Let's not think about that. But that is really cool. And then Socotra still exists. This is great. I'm really enjoying this so far because it is a very, very solid run. Uh, yeah, let's just, you know, have some wars northwards. I think that's the plan here. Oh damn, and doesn't it just make you happy that Dastor Ragnar the Victorious went on to embarrass his father? Jarl Hastin the Viking. First of all, we have his skull. Second of all, 
Excuse me, you conquered Sokotra? That is a bad joke, my friend. I became a god. But now as a god, of course, I think it's time that we teach the people around us a bit of a lesson. I think we're gonna go for all of this stuff because as I said, I would love to split the kingdoms of Khorasan and Zabulistan with, uh, you know, my brother. That, of course, deserves a bit of a title there. We're gonna then, of course, move upwards. I wanna give away the temporal faith thing, so the temporal title, the Church of Zun. I wanna give that away primarily because, uh, I think I'm not gonna stay Zunist. I'm gonna stay Zunist for a while as long as it is convenient, uh, convenient but I will not stay Zunist, you know, come hell or, uh, or high water. I just wanna keep pushing and I think we will keep pushing forward. So all that I really care about is uh, keeping that title alive. And I really, really hope that that is possible down here in Zabulistan. It's a nice title. Honestly, I wish this was our kingdom tier title, but you can't always get everything, I guess. Unlucky. Oh, and look at that. The Knights of the Sun, a new holy order has been founded for the defense and preservation of the reformed and expanding Zunist religion. They call themselves Knights of the Sun and are sworn to stand steadfast in battle, protect the faithful and help spread the light of Zun, the justice giver, to new lands. Many young warriors are already flocking to their golden standard. Praise Zun, I guess. Uh, it, it bugged out, I think, because we have a lot of god names. Uh, god, Zun, God, the Sun, God, the giver of justice is Svanhild, Eric and Fre uh, Frederick. But uh, let's take a look at these people here. Oh my god. So I think, if I remember this correctly, holy orders are based on your moral authority when they are founded, so... 100 gives us this. That is insane. I don't know actually if they adjust as time goes on, but I assume that they do. Let's just win this. It should be fairly easy. Okay, so now it's time that we go for bulk. I'm hoping that maybe this splinters and then we can continue onwards, you know, with a... different position there, but I'm just gonna kind of mop this up up here. That's really what I'm doing. And now this war is also over. It was a very easy one, I'll be honest with you. We barely, uh, you know, built up a sweat there. Now the thing is, and this is exactly what I meant, I will not hold on to these counties, meaning if I right now declared, you know, that we are going on to become uh, a different kingdom, that we are splintering off, then that would lead to a situation where essentially, um... We wouldn't have a direct connection. That is, of course, unacceptable. That is something that I just simply cannot do. Now I'm thinking... Hmm, yeah, I'm thinking, what exactly do we do here? I could truce break, I guess. Um, cost me a lot of prestige, but at the end of the day, I think it would probably be worth it, right? Like, it would probably be worth it. And he's conquering Kiva. I think I'm going to truce break here, just because this would allow me to immediately split a, a splinter off the kingdoms, and I, I think ultimately that is probably what we want here. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna go on. First of all, I might want to usurp this, although, honestly, I don't really see the point here. There is no important area over here. I would like to maybe have a capital in Kabulistan, uh, in Kabul, I mean. You know what? I'm going to truce break. And this is a bit of a weird move because it's not, strictly speaking, necessary. But I'm going to truce break for all of this because I think this should probably be worth it. Let's just do it. And there you go, I managed to move my capital for free, by the way, by handing over to my son the capital of Bost, you know, that used to be our capital. And this is gorgeous, because now we can definitely handle, uh, hold on to some stuff over here. I will also push for further centralization. There are supporters here, so this should actually work out. And then I'm gonna start actually handing out some of these titles here, but we should be fine, honestly. This is nice. I'm gonna hold uh, on to the land up here in the north. Hell yeah. Fascinating. Dastur Rangna. Look at, first of all, look at how he looks. <laughs> the sun outfit is amazing. In response to the new era of crusades and jihads among the Abrahamic monotheists, the great Dastor Ragnar has informed all Church of Zun priests of his plans for a magnificent Church of Zun pagan response. In fact, all pagan heads of religion may now declare great holy wars. This could be the beginning of an unprecedented heathen aggression. Great God, Zun God, the sun God, the giver of justice. Alright, so we can now call great holy wars. This is huge, but I will not actually utilize this ability. I will hand over the, you know, ability to be uh, the sun leader to our son Refil, as I suggested earlier. We're gonna make that happen and I think it will be absolutely grand. I'm very excited to actually make this happen once this war is over. I have big plans. Alright, this war is over. Now, I need to reorder life a bit, okay? So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna give this guy the Yaldum of Kerman. And then I'm gonna give him the Church of Zun. I am no longer the leader of the Church of Zun, but let's roleplay as though I was still, you know, essentially the High Guard. Now look at that. Uh, you are both of these things. I'm going to go on and create the Kingdom of Khorasan. This is a beautiful, beautiful kingdom that is now my primary title. 
And with the kingdom of Coruscant, I love the sun. It is just so topical. But what we're going to do is I'm going to hand over. Yeah, and we're going to be tiny. But I, I think this works exactly the way I want it to be. Uh, we are going to be tiny, but I think this works out perfectly. Okay, so I reshuffled this a bit. And if I'm doing it correctly now, which I should be doing, I will release the kingdom of Zabulistan with everything underneath, and it will look like this. We will be this tiny strip here in the north, but that is because we are, of course, pushing further north. Dastur Rayfil will then also have the opportunity to be the one that presses the button on where the Grand Holy War goes. Please make good borders. Let's go! Oh, no, who are you? Why are you here? God damn it. Um... God damn it. Give me this title. God, I'm mad at that. That sucks. Hey, there you go. Get out of here. And then I'm gonna release this with our religion, with our culture. That's fine. And I think that should work. Because then you should just swear fealty. I'm hoping that that is exactly what we're gonna see here. Come on. Swear fealty. No? Are you serious? No swearing fealty? Oh, you're not the Jura part of Zabulistan. Um, this sucks down here. Zabulistan was supposed to have a Saravan under their control as well, but that is okay. We can figure this out. I think we are in a pretty decent spot. I'm 10 out of 4, of course, because it, it, we just conquered this stuff over here. Don't worry about it. We are now the Northern Kingdom, and the Southern Kingdom is in control of my youngest son. Uh, he's a good son, of course. I got nothing against him. We are in a decent position. Honestly, I think we are holding it together quite well. Now that we are no longer the leader of the church, however, of course, Yalma is also eligible to get some titles of his own, and... Quite frankly, Yalma, why wouldn't you be eligible to get some titles of your own? You know what? I'm just gonna give you some titles right now. We're gonna keep Kabul as our home province and you can get Gojgan. You can get uh, my mana. There you go. And that is about it for the moment. You know, there is going to be one more title that goes away uh, if I die right Oh, actually. I'm gonna give you Kani Rostak. Absolutely. Just give that away. I don't need to hold that. Kanj Rostak. There you go. And that makes it so that nothing will splint anymore. Now, he is Germanic. I'm going to leave him as Germanic. I think that is fine. The Zunist faith is a bit of a, you know, a, mish, a, a mix between J Zunist and Germanic anyway. We still have a lot of money in the bank. We can, of course, still raid. And Dusto Rayfield is here to rule in the south as the new leader, the new Dusto. I think this is beautiful. Honestly, I realize, of course, I'm very weak now. I just gave up so much land. But I can only hope that my dynasty keeps it together forever. Because I'm not going to revisit this. This is now their duty and their obligation, not mine. Oh, and there you go. The Great Holy of Persia. He immediately started. Dastur Rayfield has had a vision from God. Zun God, the Zun Sun God, the giver of justice, Van Hilder, Eric, and Frederick, ordering him to declare a great holy war on Shah Mashat II of the Safari Chardamir, the calling followers of the Mad Arab. All, fr uh, all free church of Zun men are invited to feast in their holy places. God, Zun God, the Sun God, the giver of justice, is Van Hilder, Eric, Frederick is mighty. That he is. Alright, okay, so we are now in a great holy war. I will, of course, support you here, although I will tell you we're probably gonna lose this. And, um, I am still a bit busy in the north, but I will help you. We we do have, at the end of the day, access to this beauty. Oh, we died. And... What? <laughs> what? Okay, so I died while we are at war. You can see we're winning this war. We're gonna go down to the Great Holy War. Even still, King Eric the Loyal, that is a nickname that he got, is, you know, in a good position. I mean, he's a, he's a good ruler to begin with, but who the hell... You are the child of King Eric the Loyal, huh? What is this supposed to be? This is outrageous. This is absolutely insane. Um, I might... Oh, Rikulf. Rikulf, you god, you living god. How could I not say Rikulf will be the one that should inherit here? All right, who are we? What are we doing? Now, we are a secret Germanic. So as you can see, it was right of me to assume that our uh, son wouldn't be as committed to the Zunist faith as, you know, he possibly could be. So he is a secret Germanic, which I will keep at heart. You know, it is a bit of a uh, connection that stays. You know, the Zunism that we created is a synergy between Zunism and the Germanic faith. But other than that, we, I mean, we are great. We are a tough soldier, an organizer, direct leader, genius, child of a concubine, sturdy, humble, ambitious, patient, slothful, and charitable. And we have a future before us because our father gave us the Northern Kingdom. He said, Eric, if you want to be great, if you want to be strong, Make your own story. I will not grant you the right to rule over Zabudistan. I will not grant you the right to be the high guard. That is only my right. And we're now in a situation where, you know, of course we are still publicly Zunist, but we don't really believe those stories. You know that our father made it up just because he wanted to be famous, because he wanted to be beloved by all. 
And we can't accept that. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our own legacy, our own future. And of course we're going to do this. Interesting. Piskov is in the control. Of, probably not how I pronounce it, by the way. Sounds very rude. But um, is under the control of a dynasty of my actual son. How did that happen? Jarl Ragnar of Piskov. Huh. <laughs> that is actually great. I, I really like that. I, I don't know how I got it. Wait a minute. Elected. He was elected. Oh, Fustad, right. How's Fustad? I think that is my wife. Is this true? Yeah, there you go. My former wife. I, I understand. But you know what I would love to have? I would love to have even more uh, women. And as you can see, we have taken everything over 100%. And as you can see, the damn horse lords are now arriving. We are so far north. They have started to siege us down left and right. But this Great Holy War should be over any minute. Um... Yeah, I, I hate this, but what can you do? And yeah, we sadly took this land. I really did not want it. Ah, okay. Did I get the kingdom for free? I did. The kingdom of Persia. Huh? Um, why don't we go ahead and just hand it out to maybe a dynasty member? Not you. Um, what the hell? What happened here? Dust to Ilyana? Wait. He died to camp for you. Well, welcome, Dust to Ilyana. I got nothing against that, you know. If, uh, if I could, I would. Oh, oh yes. Zabulistan shall be strong. Oh, that is beautiful. Since she is the religious head, I can give her titles. That is amazing. Yo, that is genuinely just... I love that. That makes things so much easier. Now, I think I will have to pay for this just a couple of turns because I need to take o uh, out this stuff over here. These damn horse lords. I swear to God, they really need to go. But yeah, I love this. Zabulistan is big. Zabulistan is strong. And she can hand out all of those stuff. And all of these things. Meaning that everybody will love her. I think we established Zunism for good. I don't think Zabulistan is going anywhere. If she can just, you know, get Zaravan and whatnot under control, that would be even better. But this is nice. I am in love with this. Now let's take out this stuff. And oh no, while I was busy helping our sister. And I mean, we were very successful in helping our sister. Although she is being sieged down here in the west. The damn Caliph Sadadin. They just can't leave us be. They simply can't make that happen. You know, it's been a bit of a wild time. The Abbasids keep coming and coming and coming. But at the very least, whenever you win against them, you gain a boatload of money. 1,600. So I am willing, of course, to spend a boatload of money. Because the more I spend, the more we will get out of it. Well, not really. But, you know, the more of me will survive. And I think that is a bit of a... The point here, so, just to fill you in, I have been warring. King Eric, the loyal of Coruscant, has been warring in the name of his family, just so that they can survive uh, for a bit. We have been warring to the north here, of course, and now we have to defend us, uh, ourselves against the Abbasids, but I think, once the Abbasids are done, I will be able to push further here into the uh, Tibetan area, and that would be quite nice. I honestly, that is my dream, personally. I want to just, like, push in there and make that happen. And look at this ingenious Abbasid AI. What are they doing, you may ask? Well, they are committing to the end of their empire, I would call it. M. Ardavan can lead this army, and I'm going to be over here, of course, defending. I'm an organizer, he's an organizer, so, you know, there's not really any difference. But Ardavan will be the one that leads the army over to Tus. Let's make this happen. This is just a... Honestly, they need to stop repeating this. <laughs> they keep doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. And this time around, it's into mountains and with the river crossing penalty. You have to be kidding me. That is an insane move that nobody should have ever undertaken, but here we are. And Botulfre, another genius, man. We have a family of geniuses, and I usually don't read it into it like this, but my god. Eric, thank you so much for this uh, genius involvement. Yeah, amazing tactics. This is just very rude. Incredibly rude indeed. Yeah, wow. The Abbasids just got absolutely dunked on. Oh, look at that. They have no commanders. They're getting trumped. And it has been ages since I felt so invigorated by a battle. We've had this exact text already. Let's go. Brilliant strategist. Eric is one of the adventurers of this family after all. And honestly, I didn't even need to show you any of this war. This war was very, very simple. And we, of course, come out victorious. Absolutely beautiful. King Eric... You are a living god. Let's make this happen. I'm very excited. I'm also excited that my sister here has everything under control. Dust to Ilyana. Nice face pa uh, paint, man. You crazy lady. Everybody's doing quite fine, I think. This is actually excellent. And her heir is Prince Ingemar. Keep it up. Honestly, I am very, very hopeful for the family that, you know, is kind of following the Zunist faith over here. Although, this is, of course, again, only the beginning. Uh, Samarkand, how are you doing? 
With all the way that we have made here into the west, with Zabulistan as strong as they are, and I think they are... That's just a Sunni revolt. She should be fine. I think she's fine in both of these. Uh, she'll, she'll probably fare quite well. I want to finally move towards northeast, because that is, of course, you know, where we need to be, and I hate already seeing this western protection, because that's going to be a lot of wars. A lot of wars! They are having a, a golden age. My god, I don't know. Fighting our way through here will be... Quite something. Okay, first of all, we of course need to get into the burn area if we want to take over the burn, so I shall declare a holy war for Palmy and hope that we can actually make this happen. Let's see whether it will work, let's see whether it will go wrong in all the bad ways. Um, everybody go over here, yeah? And here you go, the war is indeed over. We have taken yet another piece of land and we are such a corridor, like we are literally just a corridor land, but I mean, you know, there's nothing wrong with that per se. Um, now what I will do is I will actually create the Duchy of Palmy here because I would, oh, I would have to usurp it, huh? Um, okay, in that case, I'm gonna create a different Duchy. What about Coruscant itself? I'm gonna create Coruscant because I can hand this out and that shouldn't really be an issue afterwards. So, you are now very happy. That is good for you. Now we have fewer vassals underneath us and I can uh, go ahead and create some vassals right here. That should work just fine. Now I looked at this and I noticed that High Chief Songwul, the Conqueror, has only one duchy tier title. What we're gonna do here is, I'm gonna go and I'm going to declare the war for Samarkand, which is his duchy. I'm gonna take that down and then we're gonna go on and hopefully be able to just eat all of this up and then we stop being this weird ass corridor and start being a real empire. At the very least, that is my hope here. Ah, oh, you son of a gun. We were at 98% and he decided to convert. You are an absolute traitor and I hate you. Don't ever talk to me or my children ever again. My god, that really sucks. At least our sister still lives and she lives in a very strong fashion. Oh, look at that. Sistan could even be taken over by her in a second year. She's a nice kingdom, honestly. I think we established something very, very nice there. Um, I am mad though. We should have definitely had that. Come on now. And here you go. Yeah, we're gonna go for Kotan. We're gonna make this quite easy. I hope that we can push this through before he decides, hey, you know what? Wouldn't conversion be funny? Uh, spoilers, it would not be funny, but here we are. I have this second invasion of a... Uh, it's not the same dude. The, the other dude still is in our prison, but Jahangir of Shahazadas, Jahangir's host. Um, I mean, he's just gonna die. We already won one battle. I could pro potentially already piece him out with a white piece. I mean, what's the difference? Honestly, I don't really get anything else. He loses his claim. Ah, I wouldn't imprison him. No, okay, then let's not do this. Now, this battle, I think we will win. Yep, we will. Man, we are pushing and we are pushing fast into the east here. Okay, at least the war in Kotan actually is over, and it is over in our favor, as you can see. <laughs> as you can see, you see pure horror. What have I done, Khorasan? Better to give Khorasan to Zabulistan, because, oh, she's no longer... Wait, why would I not be able... Oh, because we are at war, right? Cannot grant titles to non-vassals when at war. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. This will be perfectly fine. Um, I think I will give Khorasan to Zabulistan. And I think for the time being, unless I am able to pull a quick one on the game, we'll see if I can pull that off. But unless I'm able to do that, I think for the time being, we will be living in Tibet. You know, we're just going to create a bit of a Tibetan Norse empire. But that is exactly what I'm going to do. Let's just go on and declare war against Google here. We have a lot of money, obviously, and... I would love this war right here because that's a lot of land that gives me a lot of access points into Tibet and then we can keep and or rather start pushing in. Princess Victus the Heavenly Well. It was nice having you on the council but then you just did have to go and ruin it for everybody. Okay, we're going to go for Ingari and let's make this happen. And as you can see, this war is over and with that we are now very, very deep into Tibet. Uh, uh, Tibet. And that was just war. It was a single war that turned all of this around the way it did. Very, very nice. Now let me just quickly check here. Um, at the very least, yeah, okay, there's no holy site. Oh, no, actually, this is- is this a holy site? No way. Right? This- I don't think this is a holy site. Um, nope, not a holy site. Perfect. But the way I see this, we just conquered an essential part, and this brings us very, very close to just honestly, probably leaving Coruscant behind. I mean, Duster Iliana has done quite well, the Cleansing Flame, you know, she has been doing alright, although she faces yet another rebellion. But I think she has it, I mean, probably has it, right? Um, if I created another kingdom, and if that kingdom happened to be the kingdom of Kabulistan, I could probably just move over to Tibet. And I know this sounds incredibly silly, and honestly, that is probably because it is. But I don't see why I wouldn't move, right? Because all that I need to hold on to is essentially everything that is uh, 
the kingdom over here, you know, the, or not the kingdom, but essentially everything that is a holy place for the Tibetans, and I think that is looking quite alright. Um, I can't transfer vassals to you, can I? No, I would have to give it to you via granting you the title, and yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I think what we're gonna do here is, I might just pull a fast one on myself, kind of? If I create the kingdom of Kabulistan, and then hand over Khorasan to her, she would be strong, and I would finally be rid of the Abbasids, Maybe this is the plan that we do want to follow here. And of course, as always, I want to thank the members of the channel for making videos such as this one possible, namely the Barons, Aaron, Stefan, the Richest, T, Snywolf, Emma Mamello, Thomas, Lachlan, and Mitchell. Then of course also the Counts Shifty, Wombat, and uh, Xenophone. Then last but not least, the absolutely beautiful Duke, Suspicious Dark, Nathan, Knight of Squires, Kenneth, Lexor, Eric, and Aiden. I have talked a lot today. I will see all of you tomorrow. Until then, later, alligator.